Awo, shalom, shalom, ras tethari. Ene, ras yadinos tethari name. I am Wendem Yadon of the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. Breaking news, this just in. Wanted to do that for a moment. All right, but this is breaking news. And for I and I, this news just got in. Facebook exec and founder is renouncing his United States citizenship and is planning to move to Singapore for what he says the rest of his life, so forth and so on. Even though he's a so-called United States citizen, he's deciding now to basically renounce his United States citizenship and to move halfway around the world, as they say, to Asia, to the country of Singapore. Big up Singapore. And big up to um, uh, Brother Joseph Prince. We like your ministry. You teach the people the word. You go into the Hebrew, give them the context, always in the, the gospel, what we know as the Wengel. That's good news there. But now on the Facebook exec, um, we forget his name right now. Um, his name escapes I and I, but um, the Facebook exec who has decided to renounce his United States citizenship and to move to the country of Singapore. This is all very, very interesting. Now, there are some naysayers and, and folks who are critiquing and chattering about it and saying, oh, this is, he's trying to avoid paying United States so-called taxes and such and such and such by moving to the country of Singapore. Well, that is his human right. He is not obligated as a human being, you understand, to keep a citizenship. He can renounce it. But what we find so interesting about this in light of what we've been preaching on and teaching here in the Society of His Imperial Majesty in the Church of Ras Tefari is the correspondence that this recent breaking news has with what we've been teaching on, and that is namely on human rights, right? First of all, the human rights, teaching on name and and nationality and um, sovereignty issues, and also in connection with the whole idea of so-called citizenship. Now, some are promoting and speaking of world citizenship. In other words, not just citizen of a particular nation and the whole nation-states debate, which is a interesting matter, very interesting, but that's a whole different nuanced sort of issue. But the main issue is that this founder of Facebook, and we don't personally utilize Facebook so so much because um, the, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, and with a few of us, we try to stick to the, the main thing, and that is the, the preaching and the teaching and, and, and the basic administration and trying to prepare more laborers for Jah's vineyard. But we have to touch on these legal issues because it's very important as we learn about Jah law and we learn about the bigger picture and we see such examples such as the founder of and, and chief exec, top exec of, of Facebook and his recent decision um, to renounce his United States citizenship, which is within his rights, as well as within all of our rights, if we look at the big picture, and the big picture is the global picture, and this particular document we've been teaching on right here, which concerns the Universal Declaration of uh, Human Rights, and we had touched on um, Article 15, and let's just repeat this for those who might just be catching this for the first time, this particular subject matter. Article 15 says right here, um, part one, it says, everyone has the right to a nationality. Everyone. Everyone has a right to a nationality. Now get this, the second 
part of Article 15 is that no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his nationality nor deny the right to change his nationality. Now, the big argument against the top exec of Facebook and the founder of that interesting and wonderful new social media um, that has gone, if I'm correct, has gone public, 38-something dollars or so-called share, whatever the particular Wall Street um, numbers, it's gone public, so now it's open to make more money. So some are saying that he's just trying to avoid paying taxes in America, so forth and so on. Well, whether it is or whether it isn't, listen. We as the once lost but now found beta Israel, so-called Negroes, blacks, and coloreds, and dealing with the issue of slavery, especially the particular wicked and evil white supremacist um, version or perversion of slavery that we have experienced. Our, our ancestors coming all the way down to us. You know, there's an argument on, on reparations, and people say, well, we can't pay reparations now because the economy is bad. Oh, always some excuse. Okay, be that as it may. You know, can't really force their hands, so forth and so on. But there's a bigger picture. And this Facebook exec is, is actually showing a very interesting insight into it, which lends a lot of credence and correspondence to what we've been teaching on, preaching, as well as seeking to manifest. You understand? And what we're seeking to manifest is basically what is in tune with our human rights. And human rights, which is global, and the United States signed on to this ever since 48, you know, it, it trumps all this little national and local stuff as regarding our rights. But here's the key. Even though all of the countries, including America, are told that they are to publicize the text of the Declaration and to cause it to be disseminated, displayed, read, expounded principally in schools and other educational institutions without distinction based on the political status of countries or territories. So irrespective of that, we should have already known about this. And many of us are learning about it late, but it's better late than never. So as in what we just read from Article 15, everyone has the right to a nationality. Now, nationality is a little bit different than citizenship. You see, and the subject matter of citizenship from, from the, the Torah base, from, from Jah's law, as we've been studying it, on it in the Rastafari, the sabbatical Sabbath uh, teachings and the Sabbath reading, so forth and so on, and in the New Testament context and also in, in context of who we are as a people reclaiming, reclaiming our birthright, learning to live within the contract or the, or the covenant. And when we understand what a covenant or a contract is and understand our birthright, then we'll understand our even human rights. As we understand and comprehend these human rights, it's, it's incumbent upon us to act on that for ourselves as well as for our posterity and for, for the generations here and the generations to come. All right, so the whole issue about whether he has a right to do it or not is very clear if we look at this globally, that is evident he does have a right, and any of us also has a right. So we didn't want this point to kind of, you know, get past us and not to make a comment and just point out and say, wow, look at that. This is recent breaking news. The top Facebook exec and 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 the founder of this of this company, social media, this new type of social media, networking, blah, 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 so forth and so on, he's made a particular decision. Whatever his personal or extra personal reasons are, those are his own. But he's going to renounce his United States citizenship, and he's planning to move to the country of Singapore and spend, according to what the news that has come out so far is spend the rest of his 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 life there 
Now, some say he's trying to avoid paying taxes, so forth and so on. Well, whether that is or isn't, it's still within his rights. If they can avoid paying our ancestors the due reparations to even consider it seriously, well, if they can do that, that's their right. True, though it's not right, that's their right to do so. Right? So they tell us, go work. You understand? Make your own way. Don't think about that. So forth and so on. So we got to keep moving forward. So I think everybody who's talking about the Facebook exec, well, you know, he's trying to avoid paying tax and it's not right. And some people want to boycott Facebook because of that. Listen, even if 50% of the Americans avoid using it, you understand, or, or protests, or boycott, or whatever they want to call it, you know, which which is in their rights as well, that really doesn't stop the fact that Facebook as a social media will still continue to have the global impact and still get to make its money, or if he's really, really rooted and grounded about his decision, hey, so what, you know, so forth and so on. Sooner or later, perhaps later, people are going to recognize how important that was, and hopefully they'll recognize it, it was in his human rights, and you need to get to know what your human rights are. And once you know what they are, it's incumbent upon you to act, to um, declare, protect, defend your own human rights, because it's very clear that all these signers on, and we're speaking about the United States of America, this corporation, the administrators of this particular enterprise, they haven't told us about this. This was not displayed publicly. You know, we had to go, I think, right here to the United Nations or actually check out, oh, this is very good, check this out, World Service Authority, check this out right down here. See if you can see that right there, the World Service Authority. You understand? Try to check that on the Internet the World Service Authority. Um, they have some good documentation, so forth and so on. Get a World Service passport. In fact, we'll probably do a, um, a next vid and show you our old passport as we're now seeking to update and to get a new passport as well, World Service Authority or WSA. Look it up, World Service Authority. Put it in your Google. Check it out, so forth and so on, and um, find out more about this for yourself. Anyway. We just wanted to say um, bravo, well done, kudos, as they say, and hopefully the pressures, we don't know how severe or serious the pressures are to to get the top exec founder of Facebook to, to, to recant or to change his mind, so forth and so on. Hopefully he stick to his guns, everything, you know, the earth keeps turning, so forth and so on, but hopefully ones and ones and I and I brothers and sisters will get wise, you understand, and to work out their own salvation, you understand, which means declaring their rights, knowing the truth. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So, once again, this is the um, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 30 articles right here. We quoted article... 15, which concerns the fact that everyone has the right to a nationality and also the right to to change. They should not change the nationality and they should not be denied, you know, denied that particular right. So, brothers and sisters, check out the story about the Facebook exec. Let's see how it works out, whether he sticks to his guns or not. But it, it's definitely not illegal for him to do so. He's not obligated in that sense. You understand? Because we know that the real issue goes much deeper, you see what I'm saying, than so-called avoiding paying taxes, so forth, and so on. All right? All right. So Facebook exec, big up on that. Um, brothers and sisters, um, we don't have a, a big Facebook uh, you know, presence or whatnot, but almost makes us think that we should probably utilize Facebook a little bit more, you understand, um, now, because, you know, the the founder of that really had some deep global ideas, and we appreciate love, we appreciate love that, 
שלום רס תפארי, הנה רס ידינוס תפארי, I am Wendem Yadon of the line of Jewish Society of the Imperial Majesty and the Church of Rastafari. Check us out on the web, our website www.lojsociety.org. Give thanks and praise. Shalom Rastafari.